Hey guys, thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In today's video, we will talk about the addressable NeoPixel. Addressable NeoPixels contains a set of WS2812B integrated circuit chip. Each chip of WS2812B contains a control circuit and the RGB LED itself. With the WS2812B chip, we can address a specific RGB and control it accordingly. What I have here is a NeoPixel ring with 16 pieces of addressable RGB LED module from Gorilla Cell ESP32 Development Kit. This module has three pins, namely GND for the ground pin, which is connected to the black wire. VCC or supply voltage which is connected to the red wire and DI or data input control signal pin which is connected to the yellow wire. For this experiment, we will need an ESP32 development board, an ESP32 shield from Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit, a 3-pin female-to-female Dupont jumper wires. And of course, the NeoPixel ring itself. I already have the ESP32 attached on top of the ESP32 shield. When connecting it, make sure that the pins are properly aligned and both the USB port are on the same side. Failure to observe this could result to damaging your ESP32 development board. Next, Attach the DuPont jumper wires to the NeoPixel ring by following the color coding that is black for the ground, red for the VCC, and yellow for the data input control signal pin. Next, attach the other side of the DuPont jumper wires to the ESP32 shield by matching the colors of the wires to the colors of the pin headers that is black to black, red to red, and yellow to yellow. For this experiment, I choose pin 23 for the control signal of the NeoPixel. Next, power the ESP32 shield with an external power supply with a Type-C USB connector. And make sure that the power switch is set to the on state. And lastly, connect the ESP32 to the computer through a micro USB cable. Our demo circuit is now ready. Now for the software part, I prepared here three examples for this demonstration. For the example number one, we will just explore the basics on how to control a NeoPixel display. Now to use an addressable NeoPixel, we just need to import the NeoPixel class from the built-in module named NeoPixel. Let me click the run button for this demonstration. Now to set the first NeoPixel to red color, we can use this line of code. We can uncomment this one and click the run current script. And as you can see, the first NeoPixel is set to red color. Let me click the stop button. Now, to set the port NeoPixel to green color, we should comment out this one and uncomment this part. Uncomment. And click the run current script. Let me click the stop button. Comment out this one. Or we can turn the pip and the seventh new pixel to blue color. Uncomment and run. Or we can set the first new pixel to red color, the third to green, and the fifth to blue. Comment out this one and uncomment this part. As you can see, the value given to its NeoPixel LED 
represents its brightness. So, we first comment out this one and uncomment this part. Uncomment. Let's say, if you give a value of 255 here, it will turn on the green LED. Let me click the run button. We can set this to 100 to lower its brightness. Click the run button. And the brightness is lowered. We can also set this to 10. And click the run button. As you can see, the brightness is being reduced. Or we can set it up to 1. And still you can see the result. But if you set this one to 0, it will turn off the new pixel. So let me comment out this one. Now, you can use this last part to turn off all new pixel. Let's say this one. Turn on. And comment. Then run. Then comment out. And using this one, you can turn off all the new pixel. Run button. And all new pixel is turned off. Now, let's see the example number two. We will try something more. Let's say a rotating LED. Let me click the run button. And as you can see, the LED is rotating through the ring. The rotation of LED is achieved using the for loop, using this one. With these for loops, n pixel can have a value of 0 to 15, which is used to select the specific LED to be controlled. And after a set of delay, the selected LED is again turned off before controlling the next LED. Let me click the stop button and let me set this to zero and let's use the blue LED. Let me click the run button and it become blue LED. Let me click the stop button. Now let's see the example number three. Let's change the color of the new pixel after its revolution. So let me click the run button. So now red, it become green and it becomes blue. And so on. This example works similar to example number two. We just need to control which color of LED to be turned on. We achieve that by checking if the current selected LED is the last LED in the ring, that is with a value of 15. Now if it's true, it will check if it's now red, then make it green. If it's now green, make it blue. And if it's blue, make it red. And so on. So that's all for now. I hope you learned something from this. As always, the source code that is in here, including additional information, can be found at my blog post at techtotinker.blogspot.com. Links in the video description. If you have any concern regarding this video, be sure to write your message in the comment box provided. And if you enjoyed this video, please do like and share so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you and see you next time. God bless.